Yeah, we're not putting that in. Welcome back, welcome back. If you uh, couldn't tell from the intro, I picked up a tree stand. Uh, let's get into that real quick. So what we have here, let's pull it out so we can see it a little, is, wait for the trucks to go by. What we have here is the uh, summit stand. Oh, okay. It's one way to do an unboxing. So as I was saying, I have a uh, Summit Stand Mini Viper SD. Um, says here it's good for 300 pounds. Um, here's your dimensions, it's 18 pounds. Um, so let's get it out of the box and see what we're, what we're looking at. We'll just set the camera on the truck right now. Um, so I went to Bass Pro. They had a couple. They didn't have the greatest stock. Let's get the stand straight. They didn't have the greatest stock, but they had this one, they had the Goliath HD, and then they had the standard Viper and a couple other ones. Um, the standard Viper, honestly, it was it was $100 cheaper, but the Viper SD was 11 pounds lighter. And for me, walking through the woods, I'll pay a hundred bucks for 11 more pounds saved, you know? Um, never had a tree stand before, so hopefully there's an instruction book or something. All right, so we got everything unboxed. Um, the harness up here, I got to get that all figured out. All the different bits and pieces, the stand, and the seat. Oh, and the cables. Let's take a break from the heat. I'm going to go sit in the truck for a minute and review these instructions and then uh, get this stand put together. So after a bit, we got it set up. We got it set on the tree. Don't have the backpack straps on it yet, but we got it set up. And that being said, I also have the harness set up. I uh, got that figured out. Um, now I'm curious. If I can even shoot in this thing, it's going to be awkward. That being said, let's get a shot or two with the harness just to see how it feels. It's actually not that different. I thought I would feel it way more. One more shot and we'll get up this tree. For those who know me in my personal life know that heights aren't exactly my favorite thing. Um, so I'm probably, I don't know, I don't know, maybe maybe six or seven feet up. Um, yeah, so let's just get in it and, and see where I get comfortable. We're all set up. Um, let's start climbing, I suppose. I guess you... Put your weight there. Repeat with this. Huh, okay. Doesn't seem bad, doesn't seem bad. They, they say to test it while you're going up, so. Oh no, so far this ain't too bad. Okay. All right, so I think that's about as high as I need to go for right now. Um, if you guys hunt in Alabama, you know the woods are, are pretty dense. I probably won't be going up that high anyway. But let's get this seat figured out. And then, uh, see how comfortable it is. Why not? Oh, 
All right. I think we're in a tree stand, guys. We made it. I'm probably, I don't know, six feet, seven feet, something like that. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. I'm just taking some time and sitting up here just trying to get comfortable. Um, I got my GoPro set up, try to play with a couple different angles. And I figure while I'm up here, I may as well try to take a shot or two. Oh boy. It's a big ass spider. Okay, so we're gonna stand. We got a target at about 20 yards. Oh, it's different when your elbow hits a tree, huh? Let's try another shot. Shot number two. wants to figure it out uh, but let me crawl back down this tree and I'll see you guys on the ground floor that was higher than I thought it was Yeah, we're not putting that in. <laughs> well, that's a good lesson for us. Make sure you uh, bring your tree stand all the way down to the ground before attempting to climb out of it. I won't make that mistake again. I'd say overall, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Um, it's definitely gonna change the game. Last year when I got out for the couple weeks for deer season, I was only shooting from uh, a ground blind, <clears throat> a little camp chair with a pop over i'm sure you guys have seen them if you hunt or if you're uh on the on the hunting pages or whatever um but the the tree stand i think is definitely going to help me step my game up a little bit and i just got to use it more and more to get more comfortable with it that's all you can do is just just repetitive repetitive practice and just get used to it we're gonna put a wrap on this one today guys catch you next time probably gonna get a uh, practice video with the tree stand i need to get used to that elevated shooting see how different it is anyway peace